Cutthroat trout inhabit waterways throughout the American Northwest. The Yellowstone cutthroat is a subspecies that is only found in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. If proper precautions are not taken, the threats to these unique fish can harm not only Yellowstone cutthroat population, but also those of us living in Teton Valley and the entire greater Yellowstone ecosystem. Based in Driggs, Idaho, Friends of the Teton River is a nationally recognized leader in science and community-based watershed protection and restoration. Bitch Creek is a tributary to the Teton River, and currently Bitch Creek is under threat due to the possibility of rebuilding the Teton Dam. Here we have the Yellowstone cutthroat. Um, those currently inhabit only 43% of their historic distribution. And our research this summer has shown thus far that Bitch Creek is one of the most vibrant populations that we have left. The Yellowstone cutthroat trout um, are considered a species of concern by both Wyoming Game and Fish and Idaho Fish and Game. They anticipate a petition to list Yellowstone cutthroat trout as an endangered species. Um, again, within the next three to five years. So we're gearing up for that, and this research is gonna play uh, a major part in determining uh, that listing and determining future protection of the species. In the past, non-native species, including rainbow and eastern brook trout, were introduced to the Teton River drainage. This is one of the last strongholds for cutthroat in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. And so uh, it's really important in terms of species survival and again, it's under threat by rebuilding of the dam and by this non-native evasion. For the past three years, we've been tagging fish all over Teton Valley and did a big effort this summer on Teton River and also in Bitch Creek. Back or? Right. So the way that we do most of our fisheries research is by electrofishing, and that consists of having a backpack unit with an electrofisher on it. As you walk up a stream, you'll stick an anode in the water and it temporarily shocks all the fish that are in that radius of about two or three feet. We can then measure and record species length, tag those fish, and then release them back into the water. And that's how we um, collect data from these interrogation sites is when those fish swim through, it records the unique number of that fish's tag. Uh, we certainly thank 1% for the Tetons for helping us uh, study those uh, threats and to help us determine how to move forward and make management decisions to protect this intact population of cutthroat trout. The intrinsic value of an endemic species like the Yellowstone cutthroat is part of what makes this place we call home unique. Thanks to the efforts of organizations like Friends of the Teton River, people will be able to make informed decisions about the future of the Teton area. Mm -hmm.